scanning for audio. Welcome to the Tin Dog Podcast. Today I'm talking about the brand new Torchwoods. There are two spin-off Torchwood series currently on our screens, and to be honest, nobody else seems to be discussing them, so I'm here to set the record straight. The first one, a rather interesting spin-off, Torchwood Pressure Pad. This is Pressure Pad. On this floor, two teams will go head-to-head across a series of general knowledge games in an attempt to outwit each other and leave thousands of pounds richer. Who will keep their cool and who will feel the heat? It's time to take the pressure. In the guise of a daytime quiz show, Torchwood has returned to us. Captain Jack, here disguised as someone called John Barrowman, bombards potential Torchwood experts with questions while they stand in the centre of what appears to be a TV studio. It's all very in-depth. Question after question follows, increasingly reducing the candidates for potential Torchwood science experts. These people are well-rounded. They appear to be members of the general public. Every so often, Captain Jack appears to be possessed by the spirit of an ancient person who seems to be into musical theatre. There have been no attempts on his life. It's all extremely long-winded. I mean, Children of Earth took place over five nights. This programme appears to happen every single day of the week in the middle of the afternoon. Of course, the gore has been massively reduced, and there have been no attempts on Captain Jack's life. His immortality is hardly touched. The events of Miracle Day aren't touched on whatsoever, but that's fine by me. It's a definite bonus and an addition to the increasing Torchwood world. After the mystery that was Torchwood Frankie, this is definitely something worth finding out. Also, it's become incredibly self-referential. For example, in episode two, there was a question put to the characters. Luckily, I've managed to get hold of a recording of that particular episode. Judge for yourself how postmodern this is. Absolutely right. We set the pressure pad. We're over to you, Mark. Here are your choices. They are John Pertwee, Tom Baker, David Tennant, Matt Smith. Here's the question. Starting with the first, place these actors in chronological order of when they first portrayed the Doctor in Doctor Who. I'm just pure Go. guessing here. Pure guessing. John Pertwee, Tom Baker. Matt Smith, David Tennant. All right, so you have said John Pertwee, Tom Baker, Matt Smith, David Tennant. Doctor Who fan? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not what you want to hear. All right. Pressure pad, is he correct? No, you're not. The correct answer was John Pertwee, Tom Baker, David Tennant, Matt Smith. Unfortunately, you've lost a life. And you should watch some telly. (laughs) (laughs) At the beginning of this Tin Dog podcast, I did say that there were two Torchwoods currently on our TV set. Of course, the afternoon version of Torchwood is accessible mainly to people staying in. However, there is, of course, the American version of Torchwood, which is currently on Channel 4, not made by stars, It is, of course, going under the name of S.H.I.E.L.D. Torchwood S.H.I.E.L.D. is very interesting and has a lot of similarities with the original Torchwood. Dealing with alien invasions, power supplies and the misuse of alien technology, a small group of individuals, misfits, science experts, all deal with the aftermath and, of course, they are led by an apparent immortal with a secret. Torchwood has gone back to basics here with S.H.I.E.L.D., but with an American cast and apparently helmed by Joss Whedon. I'm very happy about this version of Torchwood, and it is interesting to see various members of the Angel cast turning up as well. But of course, under Joss Whedon's guidance, that's going to happen more and more. It does, of course, bear a few resemblance to Whedon's earlier work in in the guise of Firefly. It has a travelling area of expertise, but of course, at its hub, is literally a hub getting back to Torchwood. 
So yeah, definitely worth experience and definitely worth sticking with. It appears to have more superheroes than time travel, but I'm sure we'll get back to that at some point. So, two great versions of Torchwood out there for you to enjoy. And until next time, be seeing you. It's the 50th anniversary. Last year, you promised yourself you'd get a copy of Hoostrology. You know, for yourself, for that bookcase. You dropped hints to your loved ones. You wrote letters to Santa. You even promised yourself you'd buy yourself a copy to celebrate finishing off all that annoying Christmas shopping. But it never arrived. So this year, why not give in and buy one of the funniest books you'll ever read? Annoy your family by chortling away at jokes that only you and a handful of other Doctor Who fans will get. Hoostrology, it's the future. Stop hanging around waiting for the ebook to come out. There won't be an ebook. There won't be an app. Buy it today while stocks last. Click on the link on the Tin Dog Podcast homepage or visit any branch of Amazon. You know you want to. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its connected properties are copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. Hoostrology, a time traveller's almanac, is available through Telos Publishing or Amazon. Visit www.hoostrology.com for further information. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>